Welcome back. The pandemic has taken a toll on the nation's eating habits, and right now it is impacting children. Reports show that more children are eating fast food. And here to speak with us on childhood obesity is Dr. Patty Anastasio with West Boca Medical Center and Advanced Pediatrics of Boca Raton. And Dr. Anastasio, it's great to have you on the show. Uh, what do you uh, attribute to the rise in childhood obesity? Um, I think it's probably obvious to everyone that during a lockdown, nobody is getting as much exercise as they used to. The kids aren't weren't doing um, their sports. And on top of that, um, uh, stress eating um, doesn't just apply to adults. It applies to children as well. And um, fast food and convenience food, um, especially when people aren't um, having their normal routines and people are stuck at home and in front of the TV and snacking, um, all of that adds up to um, bad habits and weight gain for um, not only adults, but children as well. So how do you address weight gain with your child? Um, I think it's always a good idea to approach it from a health standpoint rather than focusing in on numbers or pounds or things like that. Um, when the kids come in, even for their just routine well visits, I talk about what makes a person healthy. And making a person healthy is eating the right types of healthful foods, a wide variety of foods, drinking plenty of water, getting plenty of exercise, and doing things to reduce their level of stress. Let's talk so, about... Go ahead. Right. No, Dr. Anastasia, I, I just want to talk about also the tips, right, that you may have for parents who are also noticing unhealthy weight gain. Um, well, one of the most important things, I think, is to try to make, for example, exercising fun for your child. So rather than saying, oh, we're going to go to the gym, you know, five or six days a week or just do one sport. If you can choose a variety of things, two or three different things that your child enjoys and to do each thing a couple of times a week, um, it's not going to be overly monotonous and the children are more likely to stick to it. And anything that the family or the parents can do with the children or the family can do together is kind of kills two birds with one stone. You're getting your exercise and you're having wonderful family time as well. Okay, wonderful. And let's talk about, you know, we talked about the tips and some of the ways of addressing it. So let's talk about how you can control, right? Uh, how can you help control it in a healthy manner? Can't live in a bubble and Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Small steps, easy steps to make a little bit of progress and then everybody feels better and wants to build on that. But in today's society, if you think about it, there's always birthday, there's always an excuse for a party or kind of getting off track. So there's birthdays, there's holidays. So I like to try to pre-plan for those. And there's so often, it's like every week, there's some excuse to have cookies or cake or ice cream or something like that. Mm. And they're going to, the kids are going to each other's birthday parties. So make that your splurge day. And then we say the rest of the days of the week, we're going to have fruit for dessert or as a snack. If we have treats three times a day, they're not treats anymore. And if you have them three times a day, then that's what's going to add up and be bad for your health. But, you know, one cupcake on a Saturday birthday party, that's, you know, fine if you're eating healthfully and getting plenty of exercise the rest of the week. All right, Dr. Patty Anastasio with West Boca Medical Center. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us about this topic today. My absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me.